Right, before I start my video, I'd just like to say congratulations to Filmora. They've reached 800,000 subscribers. That's nearly as many as me. What? Oh no, I've got 1,318. Oh. But I'm catching up. <laughs> anyway, to celebrate, they're doing an 800k giveaway with 100 winners, over $1,500 in prizes. So why not give it a go? It's free to enter and check out all the information in the description below. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite features and effects that I use on a regular basis in Film Order 12. The first one is Draw Mask. Let me show you how to use that. I'll go to Stock Media first. I'll just drag in a piece of footage that I'm gonna use in the background. I'll drag in that video there. And I'll drag in an image just to put on the top as well. Now these are different lengths, it doesn't matter, but what I'll do is I'll actually cut the video down and delete the last part. Deleted both of them by mistake. <laughs> so let's do edit undo. Off to a flying start, obviously. <laughs> let's do that again. Go to the end of the video, click cut, click on the piece we want to delete and press delete. That's better. Okay, and let's go back to the beginning. You can see this is bigger than the, sorry, this is smaller than the footage behind. Started off great today, haven't I? <laughs> bear with, bear with. Uh, but that doesn't matter because all I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out this eye and remove all that background by using a draw mask. So make sure you're on the top layer or the layer you want to create a draw mask on. Go to mask, draw mask, and I'm just going to draw around the eye. Now you'll notice when I put my mouse over there, a little magnifier comes up so you can see exactly where you're putting the mask. So I'll go from the corner there, straight up, straight up, straight across. Now I'll do a mistake deliberately here. I'll show you why. And I'll go back around the eye and then close the mask, end the mask by clicking on the first point again. Now you can see I've gone a bit too far there. So you can actually edit it afterwards. Just click and move that in and move in whichever bit you want. That looks a bit weird. So what I might do is make it a bit bigger. So you can, you can adjust all this at any time that you want to. Just by clicking and dragging. I know this looks a bit strange, but it is purely an example. It gives you an idea what you can do with draw masks. And then if you're happy with that, you can actually move it, the draw mask around then anywhere you want. But I want the eye, that's what I wanted. Okay, so let's just click and play that and see what it looks like. There we go, an eye above the sea. <laughs> but you get the idea, the draw mask is really, really powerful. It allows you to cut any image shape or anything you want out of an image, out of a video, and then you can see the background behind. You can also click on the image mask as well and invert it. So then it just leaves that, which looks even more weird than my first one. <laughs> so I'll go back. And that's the first feature that I use quite a lot. The next feature I use quite often is chroma key or green screen. And again, it's another great and powerful feature that you can use within Film Order 12. Let me show you how it works. First thing you need to have is a piece of green screen footage. And that means either a piece of footage that you've recorded with a certain type or a certain color of green behind you. Normally like a, an illuminous lime green color is the best one to work with. But it doesn't have to be exactly that color. Now I've got a piece here in my favorites, but I actually found that under stock media, film stock, and where are we? Green screen section. There's a few there you can play around with. And um, they're all free, so you can have a play around with any of them. So let's go back to my media bin. We'll drag down a piece of footage that we're going to put behind the green screen. So what can I use? Let me just see. I'll use this piece of grass, I think. It's not a grass at all. It's like, <laughs> like a farmer's field, but you know what I mean. Man, do I sound like an idiot. And then on top of that, I shall drag the green screen footage. Okay. Now you can see as I scroll across, the explosion happens and there's a green screen behind. We want to get rid of that green screen. I'll just make that the same length. Bear with me one second. I'll just drag that down to there. Near enough. 
Okay. So yes, as you drag through, you can see the explosion happening, but you can't see what's happening behind it. To get rid of the green screen, and this is the color of green that works best, you simply click on the actual footage, go up to AI tools, make sure chroma key is switched on, and straight away, because it's the correct color green, it's removed the green background. Now you can't see the explosion at the moment because it hasn't happened, but as I scroll through, I'll scrub through, you can see the explosion comes in. Again, not the best example, because <laughs> you wouldn't have an explosion that's moving across a field. <laughs> ah. oh, I don't know. But it's just showing you how it works. Right, the third feature I use, and it's probably the one I use the most, is Smart Cutout. This is a great addition, this to Filmora. So let's just grab another piece of footage, like I said. We shall grab this seal. Footage of the seal. We'll have some water underneath. So if I hide this one, the seal, you can see we've got some water footage or sea footage. And then I've got the seal on the top here. Again, this is <laughs> this is gonna look a bit strange, but it'll show you how it works. So click on the top piece of footage that you want to use smart cutout on. Go to video, AI tools, and then we need to make sure that smart cutout is activated. Now we click on this icon here, click to start smart cutout. That brings up this panel. We have options of using the brush and making the brush bigger, smaller. Depends on the size of the object you want to cut out. He's quite big to seal, so I'll make the brush quite big. And what you do is you simply just go around roughly around the edge of the seal. Make sure you're at the beginning of the clip. Now, because that hasn't picked up all of the seal, you can just carry on again and go around again and fill in the other bits. So there you go. It's got all of the seal there. And then you click on Start Smart Cutout. Let that work as magic. And it is magic. It's really, really clever. And you can see in the middle there, a bit of a flipper was missing. So what we can do in a second, once it's finished, is we can actually scroll through the footage until we see his flipper come across there when it first comes up we can highlight that in as well okay now that should follow him through so let's just do click start smut out again <laughs> click start cut out again so let's see how that looks now okay it's got a bit of his flipper in there there's still some there that hasn't picked up so just draw it in again bit too much there so what you can do now is you can actually erase some of the edges as well so I'll put too much on there so you can see I use the eraser tool to rub that out okay so don't forget to always click to start smart cutout again okay so that'll do as an example then save what you've got now is an extra large seal on top of some waves fantastic <laughs> but what it's done is it's actually cut this out and removed all the background and that's a lot harder to do if you're using a draw mask like I used before. A draw mask is great if the subject is stationary. If it's moving, I'd always use the smart cutout. Let me just resize that down there because that's a really big seal. Um, just resize that down. I'll place him on the bottom in the waves because he's having a fun old time. And let's just play and see what that looks like. Stupid looking video, but, <laughs> but a great, great, powerful tool to use in film water. I use it a lot. And as long as you've got the, <laughs> the right subject matter in the front, uh, in the foreground, in the background, it can look really good. And I've used it many times. So that's one of my other favorite features. Next, we're going to look at three of my favorite effects in film water. The first one is crop. Let's just drag this flower down. Make it the right size. And I want to crop this flower down just so you can see the actual flower itself and it doesn't have to be this big. So if we go to effects, recommended, and type in crop. There we go, crop. Just drag that onto the clip. And now you will see you have an effects tab in the top right. This is where you can crop your image down. You can crop left, right, top, bottom. 
so you can do it you know individually so you can just bring the left in if you want to let's just bring the right in as well I'll bring the top down and I'll take the bottom up you can auto zoom if you click on that it automatically zooms it but it can distort the image auto zoom just makes it fill the fill the frame and you can also blur the images sorry you can blur the edges as well if you have a background in there but that's the crop and zoom feature it's really really good to use you can crop as far as you want in left and right up and down and again i've used that quite often too this next effect actually it's two effects again are really powerful really easy to use and i've used them quite often it's remove black background and remove white background from images text i'll show you text just for ease of use but if you have an image with a white background or a black background that you want to get rid of this is the easiest and quickest way to do it okay the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to find some solid color white okay and a solid color black and on top of them i'm going to put some text so i'll drag that above the white I obviously need to change this text color to black so we can see it. So I'll do that by clicking on there. And I'll drag the other text onto the black. We've now got black text on a white background. White text on a black background. Now I'm going to take a snapshot of both of these. So I'll do OK on that one. And I'll do a snapshot and say OK on that one. Okay, we can get rid of these now. Now what we have here are two images now. One with a white background, one with a black background. What I'm going to do to show you how it works is I'll drag down a piece of footage. I know, why don't we use the water one? Not again! So I'll drag that down. I shall now drag down the two titles. The black on white and the white on black. And as you can see, this has got a white background text but underneath is a video that we can't see so we want to remove this white background easiest way to do it if you go to effects and again this is a free plugin go to recommended and if you start typing in remove and enter on your keyboard the first two are remove black and remove white background so let's remove the white one let's click and drag that onto the one with the white background there you go <laughs> your white background has disappeared and we'll do the same for the black. Simply click and drag. And there you go. How easy was that? And again, I've used this quite often. It's great for black and white images as well. If you have a nice black and white image and there's too much white in the background or too much black, use these tools. Now, the last effect I think I use in every single tutorial video. It's a paid effect, but for me, it's really worth having. As soon as I show you, you'll know exactly what it is. So again, I'll just bring a piece of stock footage down. Let's bring down the Tower Bridge in London. Bit of video footage there. And if we go to Effects and type in Magnify, there it is there. Now, like I said, it's a paid effect, but I absolutely love it. So let's see. Let's say we're going into the video and we play the video there's a truck there but you can't see it so what i'd like to do is magnify that section there so what i do is i'll drag magnify down above that clip and you can see us put a magnification in the middle and on the right hand side we've got all sorts of options we can change the radius size of the magnification we can choose the zoom rate in and out we can center it left left and right move it up and down we can change the border color if we wish to, I don't know. Let's use a pink color. Okay. And you can use the, you can change the thickness of that border as well. So there we go. Maybe if I change it back to green, you might be able to see that now. Yeah, that's better. And you can also lower the alpha down, which basically makes the green a lighter shade. Okay. So let's move that across now. Move that across and down to where the truck is going across the bridge. Now the circle is a bit big there, so I can change the radius down. That's okay. I can um, make it a little bit bigger. I can move it again from left to right. That looks fine there. And now, when I play the video, at that section, the magnification comes in. 
I love using this, as, as I said, and you've probably seen I use it in all my tutorials. It's a great feature. It helps me a lot without having to zoom in and out on all the videos by doing keyframing or anything like that. I just use Magnify. Well, I hope that video has been helpful in some way and you can use some of those features and effects. Uh, I really do appreciate you watching. And if you did like this video, please give me a like, subscribe and click on the notification bell and it'll get me just a little bit closer to 800k subscribers. As always, thanks for watching. Now go have some fun.